my job as governor was like, in, to some extent, like being mayor of a great Asian city and one in which we could increase spending, cut taxes, increase the money in the reserves year after year. I think there are some things in the book which I haven't said before. So I hope that they will um, regard my account um, as uh, honest. Um, and um, if not, perhaps I should publish my diaries, which I kept when I was in, in, in Hong Kong uh, one day, which I think um, would uh, I think justify some of the things people read about Hong Kong now. What I most missed when I came back was there was a real sense in Hong Kong that people could make lives better, make their lives better through their own efforts um, and that they could change things pretty substantially, pretty quickly. Um, and that's not a sentiment that you feel very much in, in Europe anymore. Um, and even in, it's, it's, it's di being diluted in the United States. So it was that sense of, of being able to get things done which um, was so exciting in, in Hong Kong. I do sense that Hong Kong still has a profound understanding of the importance of the rule of law, uh, of the importance of a public service, of a civil service which has um, great integrity, um, that it still understands the importance of a free press um, and of strong civil society organisations, not least churches. We should be optimistic, not pessimistic about Hong Kong. I think Hong Kong is still one of the freest and most uh, exciting cities in Asia. Um, I am worried, as others are, that China might be trying to, to tighten its grip on Hong Kong and undermine Hong Kong's autonomy and the rule of law. I, I hope it will think again about that. The rest of the world will have to keep concerned and we'll have to keep watching what happens in Hong Kong to make sure that um, Beijing sticks to its word under the joint declaration which after all lasts until 2047 um, and uh, long after me